Dr. Paul here. I've got a teenager who has an injury to shoulder or arm. I don't know the story yet. We're gonna go see. I was working out in the gym for like, I'd say probably the first time I was properly lifting weights and stuff. Three days ago. Yeah. So right after working out, we played like an hour and a half of racquetball. Oh wow. And where's the pain? There's like um, constant pain like here and here. There's pain whenever I try and move my arms like past this point. Where does it hurt? Around here. Okay. And then same thing on this arm, but I can go to like here. Did you do a lot of repetitions? I mean, it was my first time, so I'm not really oh, sure. Oh, your very but... first time. Yeah. So it was probably a lot of work for you then. So are you having a hard time moving that arm? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Give me help. Yeah. So take this side off first, the side that doesn't hurt. Let's get this side off first. And we'll slide it off of that side. Okay, that hurts to move. Is any of this sore? Just just when I'm feeling your muscles? Yeah. I feel tightness in there. Is, I know there is your was... elbow hurting to move? Uh, yeah. That hurts? A little bit, but not too How bad. How about when I'm pushing? I think when you were pushing like this, it was hurting a Down little bit. Down here, we're fine? Yeah. My first thought when you were telling me this story, I just didn't know if you overdid it and had a little bit of rhabdo, where the muscles are breaking down a little bit. Does that hurt? Yeah, like right here. Where is it hurting? That muscle there? Yeah. Does that hurt when I touch it? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, maybe it is a little bit of rhabdo in there. Mm -hmm. This side's fine? No, this side was also... It was also sore? Same sore. area? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, one thing I forgot, but uh, when I came back on Saturday, like after, when I woke up in the morning, mm -hmm. there's like a big swelling, like right here. This was swollen here? Yeah, I think there might still be a little bit, but it was a lot more. That bicep feels a little tight too compared. For, for being um, right-handed, mm -hmm. this is more swollen right here. You can see it. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's your stronger arm. Should be bigger. We're measuring at... So just a reminder, guys, I am in the fight for my life. The medical board is after my license. They're trying to shut me down. This is a battle to save my practice, save my work, save my mission, and save my medical career. Go to drpaulsfight.com. The link's in the description below. Thank you for your support. We're measuring at, let's see, as tight as I can get it, 10 and a half inches. Yeah, almost 10. So clearly some swelling. I mean, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Any change to your urine color? Uh, I don't think so. No, I mean it's yellow, or, or if you drink a lot of fluids, it's yeah, it's clear. It's yeah, not I think it's brown or yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one <laughs> starts hurting. Yeah, yeah, right, right in there. Point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got a rhabdo here. I think he does, yeah. Yeah, the guy behind the camera. You should let me put the camera on you. Sure. And you could tell your story. So I'm a CrossFit instructor and a CrossFit athlete, and we have something known as butterfly pull-ups, which is essentially where you're moving fluidly through a chin over the bar motion, but it's really aggressive on your bicep tendon. And one of the hardest things for a muscle is to be contracted while it's fully extended. It's one of the most like dangerous things for a muscle if you do high volume. Right. Well, I did like 60 or 70 one night, and then the next night I did more pull-ups. Two days later, I couldn't move my arms. Like they fully swelled up, and I got stuck right here for like a week. They had to hospitalize me to push fluids through me because the swelling was so bad that I had something known as rhabdomyolysis, which is where okay. Your muscles break down to such a degree that little proteins in your muscle, instead of being torn, they break off and they flow through your body. Your story is really, really classic. Delayed up onset muscle soreness, DOMS, and then it's classic rhabdo. The fact that it's on both sides, mm -hmm. it was his first time training, yep. and then he went and did what right afterwards? Yeah. Racquetball, right? So <laughs> racquetball, you go from you're contracting, extending, and now you're snapping the arm in these long positions. Yeah. I bet you that's what he has. Yeah. Uh, I wanted you guys to have that story from a guy who's been hospitalized for rhabdo. <laughs> you don't have to go to the hospital. Uh, the, the concern is if there's so much breakdown, it's really, it can jam up the kidneys. Right. And so what you need to do, not need to, but I, what I highly recommend you should do is drink lots of fluids. Now, I don't want you to overload water without replenishing any electrolytes, right? right? And that'll just keep your kidneys flushing while you, you, you cleanse 
the body of the excess protein from the breakdown of that muscle and do not exercise mm -hmm. until you're fully moving again. So it's probably gonna be about a week mm -hmm. of okay. you know just taking it easy as far as exercising. You don't even like trying to do stretches or anything? So no. one of the things they told me, which is a mistake when someone has rhabdo, is to stretch. Right? The muscle is bound up and tight and mm -hmm. what they're suggesting I not do is force it long into position until the inflammation goes all the way down until you can naturally move through a range of motion without pain. I see. Just let it be. Okay. Yeah, just fully let it be is what they told me. It can make it worse. Yep. It's nice to hear from the guy who went through it and talked to the experts. I mean, he brought in the whole team of experts. He was so severe. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. They they scared me how much fluid they pumped. They in. were pumping like 1.5 liters every 30 minutes. Yeah, like like double IV. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. I, mean, I, I had edema too. They could have killed you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're fine. You just drink a lot of fluids. You'll be absolutely fine. He's got a little bit of inflammation there as well. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Super. Well, uh, thank you for sharing your story. This is really important. The, the message uh, to anybody who's watching who, who engages in intense physical exercise, especially if it involves weights or a lot of repetitions, hydrate well. Don't overdo it, especially if you're early in a training program. Right. right? I mean, this guy can now do those butterflies and do 100 of them mm -hmm. probably and no problem. Correct but it was a little earlier in his journey of CrossFit. And just adapting stuff. Yeah. And then the last thing I'm, if I might bring up, yeah, is sure. I've heard the story now for three rhabdos, which is weightlifting and then long, long cardio sessions with some sort of sport, mm -hmm. racquetball, golf, um, yeah. anything where you're swinging and exploding and being explosive after, after weightlifting. After having sort of torn things up you and then you go really rip it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think uh, it's a great story. It's a great uh, warning for any of you watching. Uh, you know, if you're inexperienced in a movement, go easy mm -hmm. at first and uh, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Also hydrate really, really well before intense activities and after. And if you have a lot of soreness, listen to that. Mm -hmm. Don't go do more. Is it that his muscle tear is a lot more because he's not no. taking enough protein? No, or that, that had nothing to do with his protein intake. Yeah. Uh, that was sheer physical force I on see. those muscles yeah. being too much uh, for his level of training at this time. Okay. But long term, you'll build muscle better if you're getting enough protein. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see. Yeah. So yeah, that was the related question. Is like if he wants to do this more often, where he wants to build muscles, I guess he needs to, you know, balance his diet by adding more good sources of protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And some healthy fat and and good range of fruits and vegetables and less of the processed carbs and processed food in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And drink lots of fluids. Thank you for sharing your story. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Do you have any tips for your fans now on YouTube? You're probably gonna have a million of them. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, just don't overdo it, guys. Yeah. Listen to your body. Have fun. Listen to your body. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm Dr. Paul.